Welcome back to another Greenville update video. In this update, they added 7 new cars, and including trims, they added 27. Here are all the new cars on the top of the dealer list. Starting off with the 1988 Yugo GLV for $4,000, this vehicle requires the Classic Pass, it has a couple colors that you can choose from, and only one trim and one rim option. Here's how this vehicle looks spawned out. Fun fact, this is the new slowest vehicle in game, technically the third slowest if you count the lawnmower and golf cart, but this is the slowest car in game currently. And here's how it sounds. Now normally here I would say let's do a 0 to 100 and braking test, but as you can probably tell by the speedometer, it doesn't quite do 100. So let's just do a 0 to top speed and braking test. Now I'm not sure if it's because we didn't brake from a very high speed or because this car is just very light, but these brakes are amazing. By far the best braking vehicle I've tested. The next vehicle in this update is the 2001 Ford Crown Victoria Fire and Rescue. It comes with two trim options, the EMS trim and the FD trim, fire department trim, both for $10,500. It only has one rim option and one color option, Fire Red Classic. Here's how the vehicle looks spawned out. This is the fire department trim. As you can see on the side, it says Greenville Fire Department. And on the back. For some reason, the wheels look like they're slightly burnt on uh, certain sides. They kind of fade into a darker color. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, but, you know, it's there. Here's how it sounds. If you press J, the spotlight turns on. Here how the lights look. Here's how the first siren sounds. Here's how the second siren sounds. And here's how the third siren sounds. Here is a 0 to 100 in braking test. Definitely not better than the Yugo, but still a bit better than a lot of the vehicles I've tested. The next vehicle is the 2002 BMW 745i. There's only one trim option and only one rim option, and this costs $13,000. Here's how it looks spawned out. Very, very unreliable in real life, but uh, maybe it's good in game. Here's a sound test. Here's a 0 to 100 in braking test. Not that great at braking, but I mean, uh, at least it stopped. Also, when you get in the car, the front DRLs turn on. The next vehicle is the 2004 Isuzu Axiom. It has two trim options, the base for 
and the Sport for $5,000. There's only one rim option, the six spoke. Here's how it looks spawned out. This is the Sport trim for $5,000. The Sport has a slightly different grill from the normal version. There's no roof rack on the Sport, and it has a kind of funny looking spoiler on the back. Here's how it sounds. This vehicle is sort of teased on one of the Halloween thumbnails. And also, here is a 0 to 100 in braking test as usual. Okay bricks, I guess, for an SUV. It stopped a little far from the intersection, but I think this is still better than the Crown Victoria. I've always wanted to do a roleplay in Greenville where I switch the front end of a Tahoe or a Suburban just like this to have a front end of the same generation Silverado, but sadly, there was no way to do that in Greenville. Until now. They added this 2006 Tahoe slash Suburban, also known as the Chevy Sonora in the Mexican market. In Mexico, they actually sold them like this. In-game, they have a couple different trims. The LS trim for $11,000. The LS EXT trim, basically the Suburban, for $12,000. The SS for $26,000. And the SS Suburban, basically, for $28,000. There are a couple different rim options as well. The sporty five-spoke rims, the SS looking rims the slotted work truck style rims, the six spoke heavy duty style rims, and the five spoke LS rims. Here's how it looks spawned out. In the back the only difference here is the two exhausts coming out the one side. In the normal Suburban there's only one. This is the LS extended for $12,000 with the six spoke HD rims. Here's how it sounds. As usual, here's a 0 to 100 braking test. Here's how it braked. Actually, not too bad braking for an SUV. Pretty good, actually. The next vehicle in this update is among one of the most customizable trucks currently in game, the 2006 Chevy Silverado. It has a bunch of trims, the 1500 work truck single cab for $8,000, the 1500 work truck extended cab for $9,000, the SS single cab for $24,000, a 2500HD crew cab for $18,000. The 1500 LS crew cab for $12,000. The 1500 LS single cab for $10,000. The 2500HD extended cab for $16,000. The SS extended cab for $26,000. And the 1500 LS extended cab for $11,000. This comes with the exact same rims that the Suburban does, the slotted work truck rims, the six spoke rims, the sporty five spoke rims, the SS rims, and the normal five spoke rims. Here's how it looks spawned out. This is the 2500 HD crew cab. It has fender flares, only the HDs have that. And here's how it sounds. As a rev limiter at about 3,000. 
As usual, here's a 0 to 100 braking test. Not too bad, not too good, I guess, but it's better braking than I thought it would have. The next vehicle in this update, and probably the most hyped vehicle in this update, is the 2022 Ford Bronco. There are two trim options, the Badlands 2-door for $42,400 and the Badlands 4-door for $44,500. There's only one rim option, the off-road 6-spoke, and a bunch of different color options. This is how the Bronco looks spawned out. This is the two-door Badlands for $42,400. Here's how it sounds. This has a rev limit of about 4,000-ish. This has the nice LED style lights for the brake lights, the turn signals. Same for up front. As always, here's a 0 to 100 in braking test. Yeah, this doesn't have the best braking, but other than that, it's a pretty good vehicle. I like the 10-speed. It drives pretty nice. The final vehicle in this update is the 2022 Western Motors Protogen. This is a fictional vehicle, if you didn't know. This has a bunch of different trims. The S for $30,000, the LEU Decom Plug-in Hybrid for $45,300, the R for $38,750, the E2 MS Dual Motor Long Range for $44,300. The E3 MX Tri Motor Performance for $54,300. The XR Plug in Hybrid for $47,250. And there's a bunch of rim options this rim option, 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 this rim option and this rim option. Here's how it looks spawned out. This is the XR plug-in hybrid for $47,200. It has the 5AH rims, has quad exhaust, and here's how it sounds. This has the same LED looking style lights, just like the Bronco had. Here are the brake lights, and it also has sequential turn signals. It's a very interesting pattern in the front. And this little thing right here on the vent on the side also turns on when you turn on the turn signal. As always, here's a 0 to 100 in braking test. Not too bad braking, not the best, not the worst, but yeah. That's all for the new cars in this update, but they also added a new siren to WSP vehicles. And some WSP vehicles got new lights, I'm not sure if this is one of them. This is the 2001 Tahoe WSP. Here are how the lights look, I'm not really sure if it's new or not, but... And here's the new siren they just added. Oh, and also, these Halloween decorations are probably going to be removed from houses soon, so uh, if you want to do something special while they're still here, I'd recommend doing that as soon as you can. Thanks for watching, have a great day, see ya.